Hi there everyone, this is Will with another tech tip here for you. Uh, this one's going to be for all of those of you that are currently running a Windows 7 computer. Okay, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create yourselves a Windows 7 system repair disk. Okay, so before we get started, what exactly is a system repair disk and do you really need to spend your time creating one? Okay, so first of all, what is a system repair disk? Well, as the name implies, the system repair disk allows you to access tools that can be used to repair windows should you get a serious error, such as windows not booting up. Okay, so if for example, you were to come up to your computer one day, you were to switch it on, and then you were to find that it doesn't load up you can essentially just whack the system repair disk that you've created into your drive, boot to it, and access recovery options that will then help you solve the problem and ultimately fix your machine. Okay, and the really great thing about the system recovery options that are included on this disk is that Microsoft have made them very nice and very straightforward for you. So you really don't have to be an expert with computers to use them. OK, and a lot of the system repair tools that are included on this disk are actually automated. So they'll actually fix the problem for you with very little input from yourself. And compare that to earlier editions of Windows, such as Windows 2000 or Windows XP. You really had to know what you were doing if you were going to try and repair your computer. So with Windows 7, Microsoft have given you a nice little utility which basically does it all for you. OK, and uh, to answer the second question, is it worth creating the system repair disk? Well, if you ask me, the answer is absolutely. Yes, it is. And I'd like to think that you'd agree with me after hearing me explain what a system repair disk is. And on top of that, it's a very simple, a very straightforward thing to do. Uh, having said that, hopefully you'll never need it, but it always does pay to be prepared, okay? And if you go ahead and you create this thing, and then you find that tomorrow your PC doesn't boot up, you're gonna be really glad that you created it. Believe me, you've got some really good tools at your disposal if you create this disk. and. The really good thing about this facility is that it can be created on every version of Windows 7. OK, so it's not just something that's limited to Windows 7 Professional or Windows 7 Ultimate. You can do it even if you're running the home editions of Windows 7. OK, so there's really no excuse for not creating it. And obviously, the best time to create it is now, whilst your system's healthy. So if you're watching this video, and you're running a Windows 7 system, my advice to you is watch the video and then go and create one. Okay, go and create your Windows 7 system repair disk and keep it in a safe place until it's needed. And I am actually intending to put together some more videos to show you how you can use the system repair disk to repair different problems. Uh, with Windows 7 that you might run into. So watch out for those and I'll be making more videos to show you how you can actually use the disk. Okay, so this video is going to be all about creating the disk, not using it. Now, uh, there's a couple of different ways that you can go about creating it. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that now. So first of all, I'm going to come down to Start, I'm going to go to All Programs, and you'll find that you've got a Maintenance folder. Okay, expand that out, and it's right here create a system repair disk okay and of course the really great thing about Windows 7 is this little search bar that you've got at the bottom of the start menu okay so you could just literally click into that box and type system repair disk and there it is create a system repair disk okay so as soon as you get that just click onto it and it'll open this little dialog box the create a system repair disk dialog box and the first thing it's going to do is ask you to select a cd or a dvd drive and to insert a blank disk into it now if you've got more than one drive on your machine you can use this little drop down bar here to select which drive you want to use now i've only got the one drive on this machine the dvd rw drive which is e OK, so I'm going to select that and use that to create my disk. And you'll need to put in a disk into that drive in order to create it. Now, it doesn't have to be a DVD. It'll fit onto a CD. Um, 
I think the actual size of it is um, is uh, certainly no more than 200 megabytes so it'll definitely fit onto a standard standard CD and I'm just going to put my disk into my drive now and I'm going to close it up okay I've just done that and as soon as you've got the disk in the drive and you've selected the drive that you want to use you need to click this create disk button down here okay so I'm going to click that now and as soon as you've done that Windows will start creating your system repair disk okay you can see here it's creating the disk and the really great thing as well which is worth mentioning about this disk is that the disk that you're actually creating is not tied in if you like to your machine okay in other words this disk that you create can be used on any Windows 7 machine okay so if your machine was to go pop and if you know somebody else who's running Windows 7 you can actually get them to create a system repair disk and then you use that disk on your machine to repair it okay so this disk that we're creating with this utility here it's not just for your machine it can be used on any Windows 7 machine now actually the amount of time it takes for you to create the disk is it varies depending on the speed of your drive and the speed of your machine now it can take a few minutes so you're gonna to have to be patient now I'm actually gonna just pause this video for a moment because I don't want you getting bored and when I come back I'll show you what you need to do next okay so we've actually finished creating the system repair disk now and as soon as the little progress bar reaches the end you'll be presented with this dialog box here that says using the system repair disk and it's just basically a very brief overview of the disk that you can use the system repair disk to access the system recovery options that can help you recover your machine in, in the event of a serious error such as it not booting up and it's just going to tell you that you can label your disk um, as a repair disk for Windows 7 and it'll just have the bit of the machine that you're using uh, so when you finish just close that out and we can click on OK for this and that's it. You have created a Windows 7 system repair disk. So take it out your drive, label it and put it in a safe place. And if you find that your machine doesn't boot up, uh, you can actually put this disk in, load it up and you'll have a heck of a lot of tools that will actually help you repair your machine. OK, so it's a very great thing to have. So my name's Will and hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been some use to you. Uh, let me know if you had some difficulty doing this or if it didn't work out for you. Uh, of course, if you've got any other problems with your machine, any kind of weird errors or issues with your machine, let me know what they are and I'll produce a video to help you fix it. OK, bye for now.